core values. All spiritual technologies power themselves through sets of unifying principles, core values that unite the individual and collective toward a shared vision of the good. Self-actualization is no different. We seek to define a shape of humanity that we can assume will better serve us in transcending the crisis. Core values are the beliefs that dictate our individual decision-making at the most basic levels. We embody these principles to a degree that we become them and in turn spread them throughout the universe through our interactions with others. Our establishment of new core values in alignment with the single truth begins our journey toward discovering, recognizing, and expressing our internal infinities. We actively establish new core values as a framework for guiding the individual toward an understanding of what matters and what does not. Life is a constant struggle of trying to remain focused on directing our time experience toward our visions of greatness while being exposed to a relentless assault of distractions and disappointments. Happenings that seem important or interesting only drive us further from creation in our image. Embracing the single truth is a path to exercising our divinity within the moment, connecting our internal infinity with the external infinity in harmonious alignment. The better the individual can align themselves with these beliefs and actions, the more godlike they become. As we continue our progress toward freeing the abundance of the world, the importance of reimagined core values becomes even greater. Most of us alive today have been surrounded by systems whose primary purpose has been encouraging the accumulation of things as a source of individual value for our entire lives. Complex webs of information that tie personal values to ever-moving goalposts prey on our doubt, desires, and dogmas with the intent of distracting us from our ever-encroaching death. If we are unwilling to take on the difficult task of dedicating focus and energy toward developing and practicing new systems of meaning and value, our journey toward individual actualization will be in vain. All spiritual technologies share a similar theme of teachings that were appropriate in relation to the knowledge available during the moment of their creation. Today, we observe what happens when the values and practices set forth by spiritual technologies lack practicality and relevance in the present day. Blatant hypocrisy is typical. Often, practitioners choose to live zealously by some tenets of their religious text while conveniently ignoring others. We see in every present interpretation of the salvation religions the idea that we can incrementally reform meaning systems while not changing their foundational tenets and staying true to their original intent. There is little historical consensus on what makes reform right or wrong. It is always what individuals choose to believe as a group. We have repeatedly seen the messages of scriptures warped into perverse mutations used to justify violence, murder, and extraction of resources. It is the harsh reality that all practitioners of historical meaning technologies refuse to confront. So long as we base spirituality on the historical texts of salvation religions, there will always be isolationists, extremists, and theocratic states that leverage their text to proliferate violence and suffering. The Bible, Torah, and Quran were all intended to serve as war manuals, to reclaim Holy Land, convert or persecute non-believers, and dominate populations within and outside their communities whose philosophies of meaning were misaligned with their own. Hierarchical spiritual technologies have always been a framework for otherness, the separation of one group from another, to be used for political and material gain. History shows us that when spiritual practice begins to conflict with material and political goals, 
individuals and groups are quick to ignore mandates they once considered divine. It's unsurprising because many of the practices and beliefs outlined in ancient spiritual technologies are irrelevant and immoral by today's standards, incompatible with the progression of the individual and collective alike. Therefore, we seek to create core values that are unattached to our present ignorance and avoid ties to and worship of a divinity outside our grasp and comprehension. So how do we define a set of core values that will guide us toward transcending crisis? The single truth provides a clear framework to begin from. We want to combine our spirituality with the practice of self-empowerment within the moment. Whereas in the past, core values were bound to the imaginary will of an oversoul we couldn't possibly comprehend, now we tie them to our individual divinity, imagination, choice, and creation. Our core spiritual values combat otherness because they are unbound to the creations of past humanity. In a relational universe, there is no difference between the individual and others beyond our fractional embodiment of the observer. By rejecting divinity after death for transcendent being during life, we further solidify our value foundation in being human and away from pleasing an abstract God of our own making. We approach defining a core set of spiritual values with the intent of developing beliefs and practices that guide us toward individual actualization and expand our humanity. In becoming more individually, we collectively awaken to our transcendent potential.